Today, I'm going to teach you the hierarchy of fall protection. My name is Kevin Muldoon and I work for the Mozilla companies. I've been in fall protection for over 30 years and we're going to talk about the hierarchy of controls for fall protection. And the first one is hazard or hazard elimination. Identification of a hazard is key for you to either control or eliminate it. And how do you eliminate a hazard? Well, the first thing is you have to identify it. So if you're working, let's just say, on a piece of machinery, and it's above four feet, you really should be tied off. Now that means what? How do I get tied off? Well, you're going to use one of the controls, which could be a guardrail. It could be an arrest system. It could be a restraint system. But the first one we're going to go back to is hazard. If you can eliminate the hazard at all, do that. Number two, passive fall protection. And really what that is is a guardrail. And you may be working into a, uh, or working for a manufacturing facility, or you may be working in some type of a power plant, and you're walking on a platform which has a handrail and a midrail and a tow board. That's passive fall protection. Number three, fall restraint. And we'll demonstrate using fall restraint system. Kev? Now, as I attach to his harness, I am his anchor point. So if he moves toward the hazard, he won't be able to get to the hazard in any direction. That's restraint. We're restraining him from actually going to the hazard. That's fall restraint. When fall restraint just isn't going to work for you, and you are going to go to the edge, fall arrest is the next option. Now, where do you see this? You see this in iron workers and bridges. You see new construction, steel mills, those type of things. And where and what application would you use an arrest? A lifeline. A lifeline is two anchor points connected together, sometimes with an intermediate anchor, sometimes with stanchions. And what that is is multiple workers can be connected to one line to be protected. If they fall, it will arrest their fall so that they don't hit the ground or another object. The last one I want to talk about is administrative controls. This is by far the most complex of all of the hierarchy of fall protection. It requires a professional engineer and a competent person to protect you and keep you safe from the hazard. This is by far my least favorite of all of them. And why is that? Because there's no really equipment necessary to restrain you. It's all professional training and knowledge and experience. Hopefully I've helped you understand the hierarchy of fall protection. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to us at Mozilla. We'd be happy to help you in any way we can.